time. Well, almost anyway. I am taking to the premiere day, which in Sweden is the 16th, just a few short days away. Now, despite the fact that I don't consider myself a true Star Wars nerd, something struck me the other day. A realization of sorts. Now, if you don't want to hear me potentially spoil plot points from upcoming Star Wars The Force Awakens, then I suggest you cover your ears right now. I think that Luke Skywalker in Star Wars The Force Awakens will have turned to the dark side. Oh my god! After I'd had this epiphany, if you will, I consulted my trusted friend Google, and it turns out I'm not the only one who's drawn the conclusion that Luke Skywalker might not be playing for Team Jedi anymore. What evidence do I have for this? Well, none really, if I'm honest. But I have some things that strengthens my intuitive feeling. First, if you've seen my previous videos, you will have heard me mention the Machete Order. If you haven't, you can check it out right here. With the Machete Order, you watch the Star Wars films in the order of episode 4, 5, 2, 3, 6, and skip episode 1. Now, I tried this out for the first time this past week, and it really magnifies how similar the paths of Anakin and Luke are. And it makes it feel highly plausible that after the Ewok party, Luke might actually have followed in his father's footsteps. The second thing is the trailer and all the teasers for The Force Awakens. In them we see glimpses of both Han and Leia and all the fans go crazy, but aren't we missing someone? That's right, Luke. Could this be because they don't want to spoil the reveal that he has turned to the dark side? Or do we actually get a glimpse of Luke without realizing it? Some say that this guy putting his robotic hand on R2 is actually Luke, and that is of course very possible, but if it is, what does it tell us? Nothing, really. Instead, I personally have my suspicions about this guy. This is Kylo Ren, supposedly played by Adam Driver. But how do we know that that's really him under there? We don't. In my mind, it could just as easily be Mark Hamill. In the trailer, we see a picture of the melted remains of Darth Vader's skull slash helmet, while hearing Kylo say, I will finish what you started. Now, this could of course be a trick played by the editors, but if Kylo wants to continue the legacy of this guy, Darth Vader, who's been dead for decades, I have a feeling there might be a stronger bond there than just pure admiration. Speaking of bond, there is some heavy hinting going on suggesting a relative to the Skywalkers in The Force Awakens, and I think J.J. Abrams has actually confirmed this, if I'm not mistaken. Most likely this is the child of someone, and that of course begs the question, Whose child? Is it Luke's? Or is it Leia's and Han's? And looking at the gallery of all the new characters in this movie, who is the child? Is it Finn? Is it Rey? Is it Kylo making him Vader slash Anakin's grandson instead? I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm super excited to find out. So what do you think? Is it possible that any of these theories might be true? Or am I just completely off the path there? Let me know what you think and what to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And may the force 